What is up everybody? It is Lawrence again from My Squeakers and today we have something really exciting. It was actually a pre-order that I had done. I don't even remember how long ago. I think it's been almost two whole months. And uh, this is an unboxing for the Clark's release with Kith and Ronnie Feig. Uh, I think that happened in either sometime late October or something like that. Uh, part of the 8th Street Collection. Um, I don't really understand what the 8th Street Collection really means. It was an old repair factory for Clark's. Uh, either way, it, uh, it was a really cool collection. I really did like um, the things that they released. Uh, I decided to do what's called the Radlet, uh, R-A-D-L-E-T-T, L-E-T-T. And it was a pre-order, which is weird, but it's probably due to all the supply chain issues. And uh, it's actually still available today, but uh, really, really cool box. I have not seen the inside yet. Uh, so you, we will be sharing this experience in real time semi real time together. So without further ado, here is the Ronnie Feig and Kith collaboration with Clarks on the Radlet Asteroid colorway. So as boxes is, uh, I assume this is 8th Street, then more of the box, you'll see more of this Ronnie Feig branding. Uh, and then finally, this is the other side where it says Ronnie Feig and Clark's and then 8th Street as well. So it is part of the 8th Street collection. I really dig this box. It, it, it's got a re very retro, uh, almost like pixelated look to it. It reminds me of like games from the past. Um, the only issue that I have is I did not put this hole here. It, it kind of, well, it got there during shipping. It's not a huge deal, but uh, because it's such a pretty box, I really kind of wish there was not a, uh, uh, <laughs> a hole in it. But this is a pullout box, and uh, because I need to pull it out, I need to put it down for one second, because I don't have a table. So give me one second while I pull this up. Let's see if there's anything on the other side of this. There is nothing. Beautiful, beautiful hunter green, though. All right, let's see what's inside this box. First of all, we have this Clark's dust bag. Um, there's also a sticker that was with the same logo, but I'm not going to pick that up right now. Uh, so pretty big dust bag. And then you have this Clark's England established in uh, what time? What year? 1825. All right. And now we have the moment of truth. We have this tissue paper that doesn't have branding, which I think is kind of weird. Uh, but it's hunt done in this hunter green. And then more, more of this kind of almost like trash bag type of paper. You can see right there. And finally, the reveal. This is the Radlet done in the asteroid color. So let me pull this out and see if there's anything else in this box in a second. But let's uh, let's look at the shoe first because that's the most exciting part. So the Radlet is, uh, is an interesting silhouette in that it is a... That was Alexa. Uh, <laughs> um, so the Radlet is a really interesting... Alexa, stop. That was funny. What I will say about this, this silhouette is that from a looks perspective, it does seem a little more rounded than I wanted. Uh, I would want something a little more sleek in terms of silhouette. Um, so I assume this is actually going to be more comfortable and it seems like it's, it's relatively wide uh, in, in the toe box area. Honestly, honestly, I'm going to keep this boot because I, I do like Chelsea boots a lot. Um, but I'm a little disappointed. It kind of looks like a UGG in terms of like the way the silhouette looks. It's a little sleeker than, than an UGG, but not by much. I was hoping that it would be a little sleeker in general. Uh, but I do love crepe soles and finding crepe soles on a Chelsea are really hard to find, except for you know paying almost like five, six, seven hundred dollars for a pair of uh, Common Projects Chelsea's, which are are great, and I and I've had a pair for a long time. But it's really not worth the price. And so hopefully this comes in pretty handy. That uh, it's a shoe that I can trash around. And it's a mixture of a traditional Chelsea uh, booty size, so it's it's not too tall. I think it's probably like, I have to guess around like four inches in height. And uh, it has a crepe sole. So for me, I really like crepe soles. Uh, I actually have most of my boots that I actually wear during the winter are actually crepe soles. Um, they get super dirty and they're nasty and they get hair all over them. But to me, they're super comfortable and I like the way they typically look. Uh, but on first glance, uh, there's a couple things about the quality I don't absolutely love. This suede doesn't have that kind of like nice... You know that 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 I don't I don't know how to describe it, but, but when you see suede and it's like plush, and it has this kind of like two-tone color to it, this actually doesn't have. You can see that there, uh, which kind of sucks. And honestly, it's a relatively plain 
uh, boot, which I'm okay with because it's, it's what I wanted. Um, but still, I actually realized that there's a very little flair to this, despite it being a collaboration. Uh, the one thing of note is that this asteroid color is what part of the Kith palette, and so um, you know they release a bunch of other uh, Kith colored palette things uh, across the board for this A3 collection. Uh, there's other hang tags here, so there's another hang tag here that says uh, Clark and Feig that you can see right there, which I will not be wearing with this boot. And then there's a second one which uh, has the Clarks and 8th Street logo on it. And there's another hang tag over there. Let's uh, take off this, this paper thing. What's on the inside? The inside has like a leather type of insole. And uh, if you can see, it does have Clarks and Feig in there as well. I'm trying to see if there's anything else about this shoe that might be a little more fun to talk about but it's pretty plain uh the one thing i don't like and i kind of didn't knew that i didn't like this in the first place was this kind of this hump in the back uh it's i wish it were kind of like cut off but i'm not sure why that's there to be honest but i kind of wish it wasn't there let me see what else is in this box oh what i actually appreciate this a lot um this is pretty sick i didn't know this would come in here uh so these are shoe trees I use a lot of shoe trees for my boots and it, it does have the, the branding in there as well that you can see imprinted on there. This I actually do like. Um, I've never actually used one like this before so it will be interesting because it will curve into the boot like this. Um, we'll see what this looks like but I'm really really glad these, these, these came with it because I do use shoe trees a lot as the rest of you guys should because especially in boots your feet get really stinky and this helps absorb the moisture. And I guess that's it. So if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comments below. If you like this unboxing, definitely give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, uh, and follow me on my show socials uh, on Instagram. So my squeakers on Instagram. And uh, I actually just recently started a TikTok. I have no idea what type of content to put on there. So if you guys have any suggestions uh, or any tips about TikTok, leave that in the comments below because I am struggling. For whatever reason, all I see and uh, I kind of like it, but don't tell the world, are really kind of like the, uh, the thirst trap type videos, and uh, I can't get out of that algorithm trap. Until next time, this is the Clarks, Ronnie Feig, Radlet, done in the asteroid color. Peace.